Hello and welcome to another FIP gauges demo. Well, this one isn't actually a gauge, so um, this is something else that we can do uh, with a Cytec FIP, uh, and that is run checklists. So uh, this is our demo of the Cessna checklist. It's the more realistic one. It has um, probably nearly twice as many uh, checklist items as the basic one, which is more for fun flying. So I'll take you through how this checklist works. Um, it's quite clever. Once again, this is something only spad.next can do. Uh, it uses uh, local variables, plus some conditions and some various other Gucci stuff that comes packaged with spad.next. So um, let's get on. Okay, so in essence, really, we're only using the dials and the S6 key on this. It's uh, it's a pretty straightforward um, bit of software. So uh, the front screen gives you an indication of what the various different functions are. And the left dial moves the ticks up and down. The right dial changes the page number, so it skips forward and backwards the pages. And the S6 button is used to tick each item within the checklist. So you can either hit the tick for the next item and it'll take you to the next page or you can hit the right um, dial and move to the next page but um, I just hit a six and that takes us to the first page. And this is our pre-start checklist. Now the S6 button it simply ticks each item within the list one at a time. So as you click and check off each item in your uh, checklist these items are then ticked off on the gauge okay and it even knows where the gaps are to jump and skip to the next sections and you just press S6 and it will scroll through these quite nicely now as I said the right dial changes the page so you can skip forwards to uh, various pages and you can skip back through various pages if you change the page the ticks reset to the beginning of that page. So now when I hit a six, it'll start ticking that page. And if I move to the page before and start ticking, it'll start ticking that page. If I go back, once again, it's cleared and it'll start ticking that page. So you can pick the page where you left off and then you can start ticking from that point onwards. The left dial will also untick and retick in either direction depending on which way you spin the dial as well and if you keep spinning it left it'll also do a page down at the same time and it's almost like unticking as it works its way backwards and forward ticks as it goes forward page page back tick individual items rewind fast forward so they're basically the controls and when you get to the end you'll get a checklist complete and that is the checklist gauge it's not really a gauge but I don't know what else to call it uh, any suggestions please drop us a line uh, I hope that was useful uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and please check back for more videos soon thank you